Growing up, my mom was great. She was so caring and loving. We could spend weekends together, just like a real family, playing board games or going on fun trips. I wasn't like the other kids in my class who all complained about how annoying their moms were. Maybe my mom was different, or maybe I was different. Either way, we had the best mother-son relationship. I felt sorry for the other kids who didn't seem to get along with their moms. But all that changed after our house. Mom and dad both worked with long hours sometimes, and so when Easter came, they felt they deserved a break. I came home from school, and that's when they surprised me and told me we were going to Mexico for a holiday. I was so happy and excited. I had never been to Mexico before. I was so excited to get to see somewhere new, to taste the delicious food and meet some nice people. Pretty soon, we packed our things and headed off on the plane to Mexico. When we arrived, we went to the hotel, which was very luxurious and nice. That evening, we had dinner at a local restaurant where I had the best tacos I've ever tasted in my life. Literally, it was like this food had fallen from heaven. We were only in Mexico on vacation for a week, so we wanted to make the most of our time there. We went to the beach every day and we saw as many tourist attractions as we could. We ate Mexican food until our tummies were too full to stuff any more food down, and we took a lot of photos. By the end of the week, I was exhausted. Finally, the time came to go home. My dad was asleep on the bed and my mom came into the room. I'm just going to the reception desk to check out and then we'll head to the airport. Stay here, Jack, she said. All right, mom, I replied. She left and she returned soon after. Jack, hurry up, she snapped at me as soon as she entered the room. Oh, sorry, mom. I hurried to get my things ready. I was shocked by her sudden change in tone. Michael, get up, mom shouted at dad. Mom hit dad with a pillow pretty hard. Dad woke up suddenly and he stared at mom. I was so shocked, my mouth fell open. I had never seen my mom hit my dad like that. What was with her? Mom didn't seem to notice dad and my shocked expressions, and she yelled at us to get ready and head to the airport. We did as we were told, though dad and I gave each other a look. Why had mom changed all of a sudden? We arrived back home and I was hoping that this sudden mood that mom was in would stop. I was hoping she was just stressed from the vacation or something, but it was far from it. Things got worse and worse. Mom would be mean to me for no good reason. One time I was in my room studying, actually doing my homework, when mom burst in and told me to start cleaning the house. I told her I was doing work at the moment and asked if I could do it later, but she yelled at me to get up that instant. And she actually pulled me from my seat. She dragged me into the bathroom and forced me to pick up the broom. For the rest of the night, I had to clean the whole house, and I didn't even have time to finish my homework. At school the next day, my teacher got mad at me, and what could I do? I couldn't tell him my mom had forced me to clean instead of doing work. And it wasn't only that. She started acting differently, too. She used to crack jokes all the time. Now, I rarely saw her smile. She used to bake a pie every Sunday. Now, she hardly ever touched the oven. I was really missing the mom from before. The mom that I had known and loved from before our trip to Mexico. When we came back, it was like she was a different person. Also, it seemed like she had lost her memories about everything before Mexico. She couldn't remember what day my birthday was or the time we all had so much fun at the water park in Spain. She couldn't even remember the name of our favorite TV show. It was like she had been replaced. To top it all off, I started to suspect that mom was trying to ruin my relationship with my dad. You may think I was crazy, but let me tell you, mom was doing some very suspicious things. Like one evening, I was in my room when I heard a crash downstairs. A vase had been smashed or something. Mom came out of her room and started yelling at me. She accused me of smashing the vase on purpose. Why would you do that? I replied in shock. Because you're a rebellious teenage boy and that's what you kids do, yelled mom. She told my dad to tell me off and dad for some reason did as she asked. Jack, don't do such naughty things, all right, said dad sternly. But it wasn't me, I said. That's enough, screamed mom. Go to your room. You're grounded for the rest of the week. I shut my mouth and stormed off to my room. Even dad looked a little shocked at my mom's behavior. She had never grounded me before. None of us could understand it. Why was mom acting so different? And then something happened that changed everything forever. I was cleaning once again and was clearing out some stuff from under my parents' bed when I stumbled upon something, a diary. 
Out of curiosity, I opened it up and saw that it was mom's diary. Now, I'm kind of ashamed of this next part. I know this was wrong, and at the time, I knew I shouldn't read it. But I thought maybe if I did, it would help me figure out why mom had changed so much. And so, when I was sure no one was looking, I opened up my mom's diary and started reading. What I read made my mind explode. According to the diary, mom was plotting to get rid of my dad. She wanted him out of the picture to inherit all of his money. And on top of all that, the diary also revealed that the reason why mom was trying to ruin my relationship with my dad was to stop him from giving any inheritance money to me. I instantly regretted reading it. What should I do? My mom wanted to get rid of my dad. I didn't want to confront mom because then she'd know I had read her diary. I was also sure that if I told dad, he wouldn't believe me. Even if I showed him the diary, he would probably think I had faked it or something. I didn't know what to do. I was so scared being around mom now. I kept watching out and at night, sometimes I would go into their room just to make sure dad was all right. I was getting so anxious all the time. I decided the only thing I could do was follow mom around and spy on her. I would lie and tell her I was at a friend's house after school, when in reality, I was coming home to spy on her. Sometimes I would catch her writing in her diary. Sometimes she would go out for a ride in her car and I couldn't follow her then. But she didn't seem to be doing anything out of the ordinary. I just couldn't understand any of it. And then, lo and behold, came that fateful day, the day when my whole world turned upside down. Mom was out at the store buying some groceries. Dad and I were on the couch watching TV, when suddenly, a knock came at the door. I went up to get it, and when I opened the door, a woman was standing there covered in dirt and grime and looking like a homeless person. I cried out in shock, and my dad quickly joined me once he heard me shout. Who are you? said dad, and he pulled me behind him. What do you want? I looked curiously at the woman, whom I didn't recognize at first, but then I realized that it was mom. Mom? I cried. Jack, Michael, said mom, and she put her arms around us and hugged us. I hugged her back, and it was strange because mom hadn't hugged us ever since Mexico. Why are you all covered in dirt, and why do you look like you've been homeless for a year? Didn't you just go to the grocery store? I asked. Mom took a deep breath, and she guided us into the living room. She sat us down, and that's when she revealed the truth. Let me start at the beginning, she said. I am a twin. I have a twin sister whose name is Amanda. I never told you this because, well, Amanda is dead. Or she was dead. I thought she was dead. When we were 20, Amanda died in a helicopter crash, but her body was never found. We assumed she was dead. But recently, on our trip to Mexico, I suddenly found her. Amanda wasn't dead at all. She told me she had gone into hiding and faked her death because some bad people were after her. Jack, do you remember when I went down to check us out of the hotel? Mom asked. I nodded. Well, that's when I stumbled into Amanda. She told me her story, and I was so happy because I had my sister again. But then, Amanda, out of nowhere, attacked me. She managed to restrain me, and she dumped me in an alleyway. She told me that she was going to take over my life now. Then, that's when she must have gone back up to you two. Jack, Michael, you didn't realize this, but the woman who came back up into our hotel room wasn't me. It was my identical twin sister. Oh my God, said Dad. I was shocked too. How could this have happened? Well, I was stuck in that alleyway for a while, continued Mom. But luckily, someone found me and managed to free me. I tried to catch you at the airport, but you'd already left. When I tried to contact you, I guess Amanda must have had control of your phones because she kept blocking my number. I had no way to warn you about Amanda. So even though I had no money, I had to find my way back home. It took a while, and I'll tell you more about that adventure later. But eventually, I made it home, and here I am. There were a few seconds of silence as dad and I tried to process all this information. But then I jumped forward and hugged mom. I knew something was off about you, or, well, Amanda, I said. Wait, does that mean she's my aunt? I'm afraid so, replied mom. We had a huge family hug and we were so happy. But then, suddenly, my fake mom, or my actual aunt, arrived home from the grocery store. When she walked in and saw my real mom or her twin sister, she was shocked to say the least. What are you doing here? She said. I could say the same about you, replied mom. 
Amanda looked furious, and without warning, she leaped forward and tried to attack our mom. But mom managed to dodge her. We restrained Amanda and called the police. I showed my parents what my aunt had written in her diary, and they had been very scared to see that. It makes me wonder what could have happened if mom had never made it back to us. It scares me to think about it, but that doesn't matter now. All that matters is that we are now back to being a happy family, minus the crazy twin aunt that is now in prison.